This is the optical landing system. It was installed in 1956 after the Korean War. It didn't replace the landing signal officer at the back end of the ship, but instead of him having paddles showing the pilots what he wanted them to do with the airplane to get it on the deck, this gave them the glide slope information. The LSO no longer has the paddles. And what it does is it gives the pilot approaching the ship glide slope information. His glide slope is the angle at which he is approaching the ship, coming down to catch a cable to stop the airplane. You'll notice it's a series of lights. There are horizontal green lights, they're called datum lights. They do not move. In between is a series of yellow lights with a red one at the bottom. There are four yellows and a red. When the pilot is on glide slope, he'll see that yellow light in the middle lined up with the green lights. He wants to see that all the way down. That means he's doing the proper angle. If he goes above glide slope, up goes the yellow light. He doesn't want to see that. He'll take some power off and get back down onto the line up with the green lights. If he gets low down, he'll see the yellow light below the center. If he gets too low, he'll see a red light. And if he hasn't figured out he's in trouble, our good friend, the landing signal officer, the person at the back end of the ship, will hit a pickle switch. All those red lights will start to flash. The pilot does one thing and one thing only, full power, raise the nose, go around and try it again.